Welcome back to Daily Devotions from Mount Calvary Lutheran Church. My name is Pastor Andrew Howe. Today we're going to continue our journey through words of uh, hope. You know, hope is uh, seems like maybe a difficult word in uh, the day and age we live in. The day that, uh, our word that uh, we've been journeying for months and months and months. And, uh, you know, it seems like... Uh, we get close to, to having all the frustrations of the season of our lives uh, come to an end. And then uh, it always just seems like one thing after another. And, uh, you know, in the words of my father, uh, he always says, this too shall pass. But, um, you know, we're gonna journey with hurt and grief, frustration and anger, all the different uh, emotions associated with, with loss. And uh, I think it's good to, to take a focus on not so much what's going on around us, but what God has done and acted in our, on our behalf in the past. So today we're going to take a look at uh, 1 Peter uh, chapter 1. You know, Peter, one of the influential leaders in the New Testament, especially the early church, where Peter was uh, one of those inner circle disciples of the 12, along with uh, Peter, uh, I'm sorry, along with uh, John and James, uh, were, were very close to Peter. Peter knew grief. Uh, in the midst of uh, his grief uh, of, of watching the, the events of, of Jesus' arrest unfold, um, you know, he would be the one that would fulfill what Jesus says, you're going to deny me three times. And not only in that grief was there a little bit of denial on Peter's part. And so personally, we know that he had to have struggled. But here is what he says in the very first chapter of his first letter. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. According to his great mercy, he has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who by God's power are being guarded through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. In this you rejoice, though now for a little while, if necessary, you have been grieved by various trials, so that the tested genuineness of your faith, more precious than gold, than that perishes though it is tested by fire, may be found to result in praise and glory and honor at the revelation of Christ Jesus. There's a lot of words of hope here. You know, one is uh, reminding us we are baptized. We were born again as uh, followers of Christ, being claimed uh, by God's grace. But yet it's also honest with life. You know, we're going to face trials. We're going to have challenges you know, we're going to be tested. That hope that's uh, built within us by God Almighty, it's going to be challenged and, and, and tested by the, the, the fires of life. You know, this is a, a, certainly a trial and a challenge before our congregation, before our community of faith. But don't lose hope in the word and promises of Christ Jesus. I love verse three in, in his first chapter here. You know, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus, according to his great mercy. You know, the reality is, without Jesus, we would have even more trials. You know, we would have even more frustrations and challenges in our lives. But imagine, you know, not having Christ in our life, not knowing the goodness of, of, and the mercy of the good news of, of the gospel. Knowing that uh, Jesus Christ willingly laid his life down there at the foot of the cross 
for you and me. So that you and I would have hope. He was crucified for our hope. He was crushed for our strength to endure the trials of life. What great comfort it is for me to know the great mercy of our Savior Jesus. You know, I don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. I don't even know what today is going to bring. But yet, let's take a day at a time. Let's take a day at a time, as we heard yesterday, to, to, to be fervent in prayer, to rejoice in the hope that we do have in the mercy of Christ, to rejoice even here from what we learned is, is uh, you know, the, what Christ has accomplished. Uh, we, we will not have to be, uh, you know, questioning, you know, about our eternal life and, and, and the things that uh, are, as, as Paul Peter says, imperishable. You know, the hope that we have is built on nothing less than Jesus Christ and his righteousness. I love that hymn. My hope is built on nothing less. And that's our hope today. Yes, it's a, it's a hope that endures trial and challenges and even grief. So today, don't let grief tear your hope away. Don't let the promises of Jesus Christ take the hope that is being built and renewed in you. Will you pray with me today? Father in heaven, the fallen world around us takes the joy out of our hope. But yet we know that even in the midst of a fallen world is your son Jesus who has come to redeem us and lay down his life for our hope. Thank you for being a, such a great provider and the restorer and the renewer of our hope. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God's blessings on your day.